Hey YouTube, it is me Camilla Erin. I am making a video today and I'm going to be talking about breast growth on HRT, how long it took me and my experiences and why I did not get a breast augmentation. So um, I'm going to preface this that I'm not giving medical advice. I'm simply sharing my experiences with YouTube so that people who are just starting can have a um, opportunity to listen to someone who has had been through this experience and my journey has been over a decade and I want to give back to the community to the best of my ability. So without further ado, here we go. I started HRT October 12th, 2013 and I just celebrated 10 years this past um, October and I'm going to talk about why I didn't get the augmentation, a breast augmentation, or BA for short, BA. Um, I'm going to refer to a breast augmentation as BA throughout this video. Um, HRT, I started the oral pill and I did that for eight and a half years. And then like eight and a half years into my transition, I started uh, HRT as a form of an injection, the estradiol valerate. And I actually almost 10 years into my transition I had a little extra breast growth on the injections because my estrogen levels were much higher on the injection than they were on the pill I doubt that I could ever get beyond uh, maybe 130 my, my estrogen levels were at like 130 at most on the pill and on the injection they can get above 300 so they're a lot more effective for me and everyone's experience is different and I think genetics play a huge role into development so um, I developed into a 38C for breast cup size um, I can wear a 36D depending on what bra I'm wearing um, of most days I put on pasties and don't wear a bra because I do get a lot of unwanted attention and when I'm out in public I don't like people staring at this area. So just for educational purposes, I'm not wearing a bra, but I just want to show you like what you can develop on HRT. This is all from estradiol, so it's like this is my breast actually. And this is not to be inappropriate, this is truly just strictly educational purposes only. Um, so I'm showing you this because it may be able to help you and if I can help other people that would be great um, for me I got most of my development between the two and five year mark so it took me between two and five years for full breast growth um, and I'm glad that I did not get a augmentation a BA because if I had done it sooner than five years into it um, I would have had more growth on top of the augmentation and I've seen women do this, MTF ladies do this and what happens is sometimes their breasts grow unevenly. Um, if you get an augmentation too soon on HRT, let's say you're only two years in, 24 months and you're not happy with it, I would allow yourself another year, at least three to four years before you truly do consider that breast augmentation. And I think the uh, plastic surgeon that does the BA, if they have uh, common decency, they will not put breast in your chest just to satisfy you to get paid. If they care about their clients, then they will probably say, give it a little more time because you don't know what you're going to develop. And what's interesting about my situation, we talk about genetics all the time. My, I have bigger breasts than my mom and my mom's a natal cis female. Big breasts do not run in my family and most trans ladies don't get beyond a B cup. So developing into C cup territory or even D cup depending on what bra I'm wearing, um, it does occur and you can beat the odds and be an outlier and you may not get the development that you hope for and that is what the augmentation is there for and that's why um, MTF people are able to get breast augmentations through their health insurance at least here in the United States because some people just won't develop and 
it's really hard to say because it's not my place to tell anyone else what to do, especially with their transition. But what I will say is try to let yourself have adequate time. If you're three years in and you still just have tiny breast buds, you might not ever really develop much. And it's just a genetic thing. And I do believe it's a bit just, uh, you know, luck. Some people luck into having better development than others. So always allow yourself to grow naturally the most that you can. And it, by two to three years, if you have no development, I would definitely get a consultation for a breast augmentation at that point. But if you don't give yourself enough time in order to develop naturally, you may have some hiccups or need some revisions on your breasts further down the line. And the other thing is that you can lose breast sensitivity with a breast augmentation. So HRT, um, they say between three and five years is the window that maximum breast growth um, as optimal breast growth time frame is between three and five years on HRT and it varies from person to person to person it's it's a very individualized experience and um, so for me I'm very happy with my breast growth I don't know if I would want them any bigger so with that being said I'm glad that I was patient and did not get an augmentation right away because I grew into the perfect size breast for my chest and my right breast is my this is my dominant hand i'm right-handed my breast developed ever so slightly bigger on my right side than my left side and my areolas went from natural male size to like big and that was a shocker um, another thing that i experienced was between 12 and 24 months when i did actually have mammary glands glowing growing was they were glowing but they definitely were growing was lactation and like heavy lactation like I could squeeze my boob and it would squirt like pee mm -hmm. and that actually happened and I was seeing a gynecologist who was treating me for my transition for my first like five years and she actually expressed my milk when I went into her office and showed her look at my lactation and my actually my estrogen levels were not that high so with that being said you never know what to expect with it patience is everything so taking it one day at a time is something that I always will preach to people because you never know what you're going to expect or uh, what's going to happen and um, for me my transition was my wildest dreams ever came true they came true and then some and I did a video on the dark side and a video on the bright side of gender transition and I personally don't think children should go through this um, I did start going to groups 15 years ago trans support groups and trans support groups back then were a lot more conservative than people transitioning 2020 forward we had like the pre TikTok transition and the post TikTok transitioners and <coughs> pardon me a lot of the pre TikTok transitioners or people that transitioned 10 plus years ago have a much more conservative approach to it and I may just be old fashioned <laughs> at this point but I do think that taking your time and letting you naturally develop is one of the best ways to go about it um, you never know what to expect and if you're unhappy with what happens and you're not satisfied you can always get an augmentation and the BA is a possibility and it's out there if you ever need it but I always just I can't emphasize enough to give yourself time to just naturally grow because you don't know what to expect honestly and I would have never imagined this was all just from HRT so don't think that a breast augmentation is the only option for you be patient and take it one day at a time and I hope this video is informative if you like this video and if you won't have any questions first of all feel free to comment I will respond to everything whether if it's nice or mean I'm gonna respond to it politely but it will help me um, understand what my next video should be about and if I have to do a part two of this video I'll be happy to if you have you know sincere questions 
and, or if you truly don't know, feel free to ask me anything. I'm an open book. Um, I'm here to give back to the community. And as someone who has 10 years under my belt of being on hormones, I do have quite a lot of experience and I have truly met hundreds of trans people in real life through support groups over the past 15 years of attending groups. So I have a lot to share. So if you like my videos, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. You can always unsubscribe if you dislike my content or my views. But um, I hope this helps and I'll see y'all next time.